done an amazing job and we're moving on to sixth grade, second grade, and fourth grade. And I love you guys so much. I'm looking forward to another year of learning and growing together. As so am I. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, it does. I held it up. <laughs> Echo! Didn't you want this? Yeah, it has 585 pages. Walking creature! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! So now you have a griddle, you have a snow cone maker, and you have a waffle maker and a sandwich maker. You're gonna be making all the food around here, right? Yeah, I'm mostly excited about the waffle maker, the snow cone maker. That's pretty cool. Nice. Let me see your book, Vanna. So, didn't you have to fill that pump Ooh. with water? You fill this whole thing with water. You just Ooh. put water in there and yeah. it's all filled? Mm-hmm. Do you like your curly hair? I told you I like your curly hair. See that? Yes, it's That's fine. That's my coffee. Did you make any for me? You don't be drinking the coffee. You waste it. You want a break. We're on a break. I'm on a break. You guys on a break. I'm on a break. Yeah. I spent all yesterday um, just relaxing. What do you be watching? Book channels. And it was glorious. We normally school year round, but now that we've moved into this transition of unschool, we've decided uh, to allow ourselves a summer break. Kids are pretty excited about it. Yeah, which means I can sort through our schoolroom, make any adjustments. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be exciting. I think we're going to be transitioning. going to be expensive. I am resourceful. So, yeah. Um, I was thinking about changing things around in that schoolroom space. Make some room for all of our books. And what else are you going to do during the break? Um, what are the kids doing on this break? Having fun. Kendall! <laughs> I think I really didn't have it in our plans. We plan to just keep moving along on our normal unschool schedule routine, whatever it is that we have developed the last few months or so. But but with everything that's going on, I just felt like I needed a a break. We don't have any outlets. Mm -hmm. Libraries closed. There's no traveling right now. So I needed something to kind of just break things up a bit. So we're just kind of like relaxing our schedule routine all the way um, so we can kind of have a little bit of a summer break summer fun situation so and it's just really nice to have something as a marker that the kids have made it through another year of learning and so we always like to get them a few gifts stacks of books and it's just to kind of signify that we're moving that from one it. level to another yeah so like we have a second grader a fourth grader and a sixth grader right now that's crazy. It is. Like, we've been homeschooling. Sixth grade. Up to sixth grade. Um, we just always get questions of how far we're going to go along. Well, we still get that question. Yeah. How far are we going to go along with this, with homeschool? Were we going to get to a certain grade and, and stop? And our answer has always been, we're just taking it year by year. And we're sixth grade. Yeah. And I mean, I feel like I've always been committed, but just sometimes when you look at it like that, it's a little bit overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I remember starting and feeling like, oh my gosh, like, am I capable of doing that? But when I think about just taking it year by year, I just kind of like break it into smaller pieces. And now here we are like into middle grades. It's like real right now. So yeah, we've, we've always been committed I am like hoping and praying and believing that we will be learning together as a family for mm -hmm. the for the rest of our days. So we are making our way up to high school right now. <laughs> that sounds that oh. sounds so far away. It does, but, but it's, it's not. not. But it's not. It's <laughs> jinx. Not. Oh Did you like the kids? <laughs> That's the, the kids jinx thing. The kids? They found out about jinx. Yeah. You can't speak to someone who says your yeah, name. <laughs> That is massive. I found a red tomato. You did? Me too. Let's see. Oh, look. I see another red tomato. It's right here. Now all I have to do is turn red. Oh, yeah. Um, 
We can go clean them off and you can eat them. Wait, look at these huge tomatoes. I made a shit for any other red tomatoes. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Yeah, yeah. I want more. You are so funny. I want more too. <laughs> How do you feel about us making it all the way to the sixth grade? It seems like we've been doing it for a, a long time. Does it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I remember when I first started, I was reading a lot into like the Charlotte Mason method and uh, that um, philosophy of education doesn't believe in starting formal schooling until like six, eight. Mm -hmm. Something like that. I feel like I held on to that in the beginning, just knowing that I kind of could give myself a little bit of cushion room, a little bit of time. Until it got real. Yeah, until it got real, and now, now it's sixth grade. <laughs> and now it's sixth grade, and it's real. So it's been good though. Um, I feel like every year we've learned a little bit more, and I feel like the years before are really have really been important. All the years where we were maybe schooling from home. Just all the different phases that you go through to get to this place and now like we're in this unschooling space. Just really trying to focus on their individual paths. Like I I thought I would be a lot more panicked once I got to this place. Like, you talked like it. Yeah. You definitely did. <laughs> Hey girl, we having all the sweets today, aren't we? <laughs> They're getting older and uh, we're just trying to enjoy this time together. But I'm excited because we're making snow cones today. Brian made us waffles for breakfast. So for those of you that have gone through like the older grades, the middle school and the high school, what, what, what are we to expect? I know? feel like... What are we stepping into here? <laughs> I thought that I might be more intimidated by the workload. But now being at this particular stage, I feel like it's gonna be more about heavier parenting. Does that make sense? No, what do you mean? I, I thought I would be more like concerned with or aware of the higher levels of the material. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's kind of feeling like the opposite. Maybe that's because of the path that we've kind of moved into with unschooling in that I guess I feel more of a sense of um, wanting to support them in in their journey to find out information for themselves. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I get that. So in order to do that, I feel like a bigger responsibility to nurture their like whole self. I didn't expect that, if that makes any sense. I thought it would be all about you know, trying to work through this heavier workload, yeah. and, and it's not. And maybe that is because of our our particular journey through mm -hmm. unschooling, but that's different. So I think a lot of what I want to make sure to do is to just let them know, like, to give them that sense of, like, um, confidence mm -hmm. in learning something new or learning something again. Mm -hmm. Um, or refreshing things that you've learned mm -hmm. before because I feel like all too much we get we have this like barrier That keeps us from getting into new spaces You know what I mean mm -hmm. because our culture is so like hyped up on um, Being an expert at things. Yeah. so I feel like that's where my place is right now. This is really random, but <laughs> This is how a lot of our conversations go um, When we're talking about moving from one stage to the next but, um, yeah, so we should have gotten something to cheers mm -hmm. in the next, like, six, seven years. Yeah. Well, at least, because camera. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got Savannah's on in a second, so. You're going to be doing this for a while. I'm excited. You are, too. <laughs> Every year he gets new responsibilities. Anyway, life is so full of lessons, so. We live and we learn. We live and we learn. I'm not fuzzy anymore. Mm -mm. <laughs> She's too low. That's better. Okay. It's, that's better. That's, that's good. It's the end of the year. We're having slushies 